Electrolysis tank change day, and it was time. You see my graphite there; it's pretty much uh, gone. And I'll show you what we started out with. That right there is uh, a lot of days. I don't know how long I had it on, but it was a lot. And this is what we started with. So you can see, we did get a lot of use out of it though. So, and here's another piece that kind of eroded a different way, I guess you could say. And all that is your rust, and a lot of it falls to the bottom too. Okay, we're back, and I have put both of my pieces of graphite into the bucket of water and clamped them on the side with some uh, some clamps uh, they are plastic and what I would do next is I would put my positive cable to this one just like so and then I would take me a jumper I got two of them here and I would just jump from this piece of graphite over to this piece and then just kind of going the extra extra mile I put one here and I go back over to the the other piece uh, it's a, just you know it's 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 a little bit overkill but it seems to to work really good and then if I wanted to just add another piece of graphite I could just clip one to the side and take that off there and clip it right to it and they'd all be uh, they'd all be be working so and I had a lot of guys here on YouTube ask me um, where to get even get these these washing sodas where to get them at and I get mine at the local store down the road there I mean, ain't nothing special about it. You can find it. You might have to ask. It's usually over there in the laundry detergent stuff. And what I do is, I just take, and it's going to be two cups. And I usually don't measure it. I usually just throw it over in there. But I'm actually measuring this. Uh, you know, there's a reason behind it. It's because I want everybody to know. Uh, that you don't have to measure you really don't have to and then I just take the cup and I kind of give it a whirl in there because you want it to dissolve you want that water to be really cloudy and it will be but the main reason for this video like I said was because guys have been asking me where to get this stuff at and here lately I've had a hard time getting the graphite myself um, but I came across a pretty good deal on a whole bunch of it so I thought I'd pass that on to the guys here on, on YouTube uh, I put together a little electrolysis kit um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bag up two cups of this washing sodas and two of these graphite uh, pieces and two jumpers uh, is what you'll get and if you'll send me a, a private message I'll tell you where to send the uh, the money to and uh, it'd be nine okay what I've done is I have hung my part on the rebar with some just some old wire uh, close hanger wire doesn't work really that good until you get the coating off of it. So make sure you take the coating off of it if you gotta use it. That's all you got. Um, mechanics wire works really good. Really good. So I turned on the battery charger. I have all my wires hooked up like we talked about earlier. And then all I do is just clamp. And we see we got spark air. We'll just clamp it on there. And I'll usually let that uh, at least you know overnight 
So let's see, we, you can see we got movement there in the water. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, this, this piston, uh, well let's see what it was. I'll show you what it was. It's that piston out of that John Deere, and it's already been in here once. And you see how I brushed it right there a little bit. It just, it wasn't clean enough. So, and plus we couldn't get the, uh, we couldn't get no, nothing loose. Everything was still stuck. Uh, it just wasn't good enough. And that's what you'll find a lot of times you will have to run your part twice maybe even three or four times depending on how rusty the part is but i have cleaned parts in in this bucket here that were that look beyond, beyond usable and once they cleaned up they were really nice parts so this is a way to save that part that uh that's been deemed unusable unusable so if anybody out there wants a little kit to start their electrolysis, uh, a lot of y'all been asking. Like I said, I'll, I'll put a link down here when I edit the video and tell you my PayPal. Uh, just make sure you put your address, and that's fifteen dollars even. It's going to cost me about four dollars and eighty cents to ship it, so that's pretty much what it boils down to. And you see there, we got action at the. Oh yeah, that's working well. That tank needed to be cleaned out. I should have I should have showed you the tank before I dumped it out. Is what I should have done. But hey, um, today is uh, what is today's date, man? I think today's Friday. Maybe a Saturday. I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll check on that. And we'll run this tank every day for as long as I can. And I may add a little washing soda every now and then. Uh, most of the time I just stir it up before I put the next part in there. So, electrolysis does work. It does clean parts well. Uh, I think it's a lot easier than sandblasting because you can hook it up and walk away. Uh, I recommend doing it outdoors. Um, if you got to do it inside, open the doors, open the windows. Because it will build up the wrong type of gas and a spark will... Uh, you won't be happy afterwards, put it that way. That's for sure. So with what I'm going to send you, all you will need is the bucket, the battery charger, something to hang your parts on, and it don't have to be metal. You could use wood here. And then something to actually put your part on that you're going to clean. And remember, your negative hooks to the part and your positive hooks to the graphite. Thanks for watching, guys.